Hi, this is Arjun Iapring for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. This brings one of animation's best trilogies to a beautifully done conclusion. Maturing voice talent and wild animation just make for an excellent blend of satisfying and bittersweet that just works. Any fans of this franchise must check this out. The movie follows Hiccup, now Chief of Bur Burke, alongside his lover, Astrid, as they seek to fight find a dragon utopia that will satisfy both both the riders and the dragons. But plans take a shift when Toothless falls in love with a female Night Fury, the last of its kind, dubbed Light Fury. However, when legendary dragon hunter Grimmel seeks to finish what he started by eliminating all the Night Furies, he starts a, uh, starting a cat and mouse game. All of Burke must leave their, the home they've known from the beginning of time and journey to a mystical hidden world and to prepare a counterattack and find another home. But true destinies are revealed as Dragon and Rider will do whatever it takes to protect and find peace for all they treasure. To service this plot of epic proportions, Jay Barucho of course leads this ensemble cast as my favorite character because Hiccup is just an impressive character to watch, as well as the changes in his character model from the first movie as he just grows from a teen to adult. And in this movie, his struggles are a lot more relatable and realistic. Whether it is from his struggles to re lead or even marry Astrid, as, and these remain the movie's most compelling plot points. But can't forget about his iconic bond with Toothless, which goes to further extents as he finds wrong in not providing his pal the life he truly wants and a loving partner. Light Fury provides a great love interest for Toothless, but also some of the movie's impressive special effects, with their chase being one of the most visceral scenes put in any animation. America Herrera presents not only a smart advisor to Hiccup, but also a best friend with, of course, their aforementioned decision on marrying being one of the most compelling elements to this story. This lineup of heroes wouldn't be complete without a truly formidable villain, and F. Murray Abraham's Grimmo truly gives them one. It is impressive to watch his cunning schemes unfold, and he really felt like a true threat. Many scenes proving his true power. He's also just very charismatic to watch. Kate Blanchett returns as Valka, giving Hiccup more advice in his adulthood, but the true fields come from Ger Gerald Butler's brief cameo appearances, stoic of course, in flashbacks that truly characterize Hiccup and the bond with his parents. Dean Deblois, as always, spectacularly con directs the movie, and he continues to deliver with some of the greatest animation of the decade. He continues the great work found within the first two entries and challenges himself with the hidden world, which is the biggest visual feast of the movie. My favorite scene is the entire epilogue, which just wraps up the movie and series perfectly. It is one of the most emotionally effective conclusions in any movie, and no, fa and no fates are left unanswered. My only problems with the movie do stem from its initially slow beginning, and seemingly, and at times, it can seem to be not as epic as the past two entries with, with the scale of things. As the plot is very small scaled, but don't let this fool you, as the feels and tr true emotions are the focus of this movie. And there is still a fair share of epic battles. The movie also has a great message in of being just an irreplaceable bond, whether it is from our family to our lovers to e our pets. I do have to give this movie a 4.5 out of 5 stars, but it's still just one of the best conclusions to any animated trilogy ever. And I. And I'd recommend it from ages 7 to 18, as there are some in mildly intense scenes and brief language. This is Arjun Iapring for Kids First. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Not a word.